G'day, welcome back. I'd especially like to welcome my new subscribers and I hope you enjoy the content of my channel. If you missed part one of the uh, more <laughs> turning between centres video, there's a link up there now. Alrighty, so let's not dilly dally about with this. Just want to follow me over to the mill and we'll get started on the drive dock over there. Alrighty, I know I said follow me over to the mill, but uh, the reason we're over here is I had intended to use that. I just couldn't work my way around these hole, two, these two holes in here. So then I found this. It's cooled down a little bit now. Uh, I found this bit in my scrap metal bin, and uh, this piece was roughly the same width or thickness. So I decided I'd weld those two together and make it out of that. So now, once that cools down, you can follow me over to the mill. Over there. Alrighty, thanks to Santa, there'll be no more uh, videoing stuff on this side of the mill in the dark. A little picture up there now of what, I, what, uh, what he bought me. Well, it's my story and I'm sticking. So let's get this ball rolling by uh, just facing these two sides off. I had to mess around with this a fair bit to get it somewhere where I could rip the damn thing and still get enough travel out of it. Alrighty, so it looks like I'll need a second pass to finish cleaning that up. Still getting fabulous finishes. I don't really want to take too much off this. Isn't it amazing? Look, I think this is uh, from memory piece of S45C. And this is probably just a bit of uh, scrap binium. A little difference in the finishes, isn't it? Alrighty, so uh, I'll flip that over and do the other side, but I won't make you watch it. Well, I've got to say, I'm glad I didn't uh, decide I was going to, well, glad I did decide that I'm not to video this. I had to take 1.7 millimetres off the end because I never measured it to see whether it was, you know, thick all the way around. It was just an offcut off the end of a hollow bar. So, yeah, just want to put nice big deep Vs in here before I weld them, otherwise be nothing left of it. Alrighty, so I'll get that out of there and move it up and then we'll do something about putting the boring head in and boring this out. Alrighty, so I spent a bit of time setting this up in here this morning and uh, time to bore it out. I won't make it sit through it because it's uh, it's only 30 mil, it's got to go out to 40. I might even go out to 41, There's plenty of meat here. So let's get done, let's go. <laughs> I'm only got one of those 0 0.2 radius tips in there because they seem to cut a bit better. But it uh, doesn't leave a very good finish, so when I get to the end, I might uh, put a 0.4 or 0.8 radius tip tip and not get a nice finish in there. It's a hassle with these things, you've got to just keep stopping to buddy adjust and take a bit more out all the time. I'll only leave you guys there and I'll come back to you later. What's a bummer? I was getting fairly nice finishes in there with this 0.2 radius tip, taking half millimetre cuts. And I just took a much lighter one then to uh, try and improve the finish, and it got worse because it was chattering. What have we got here? 41 and a half a bee's dick. So that'll do me. So now I'll get that out of there, and I've got to figure out where I'm coming to up in here to put a bit of a V in it. I'm not sure I'm going to go about that yet, so I'll get it out of there and have a think about it and then work it out, put it back in and do it. Alrighty, so I've marked this out, come with a way to, to clamp it all in there and hope like hell it stays there. Let's go, let's see how we go.
Alrighty, so that's that. So now uh, what I want to do is figure out just how long this needs to be cut it off. Uh, it needs to have a hole drilled and tapped in the side so I can put a stud in it. And I need to drill and tap a hole on this end for a clamping screw. Set the camera up to drill and tap the hole on the other side a couple of minutes ago and uh, drilled it and tapped it. I meant to turn the camera off and went, oh, didn't even turn it on. What an idiot. Anyway, I'm going to machine the top off this and then put a couple of nice chamfers on each side of it. that'll do that I think and I'll get it out of there and flip it over and drill and tap a hole in the back Alrighty, I had a radio playing this while you listening to a bit of music while I did that. Well, that's that for this thing now. Um, short of dressing it up, I'll just dress it up a bit on the uh, belt sander and give a couple of little flap discs, I think. I mean, that ain't going to do anything. So that's it there. That's the one I didn't video. I thought I was and I wasn't. But I'm going to finish cleaning all this up on the belt sander and then I'll get a little flap disc and just machine for all these edges and around the outside and I'm sort of half tempted to put the rotary table on and do all these edges but I couldn't be bothered for what it's worth all right so I want to round them off a little bit more too while I'm on the belt center Alrighty, time to do something about making a pin to drive it with She blows. Alrighty, that's come up pretty well. So if you're wondering why I left this big like that, I want to machine two spanner flats on it. Kind of nice.
12 mil spanner. Oh, a little loose, but that'll do. Alrighty, how well does it fit? He bought one, wasn't it? Beautiful. Alrighty, so next cab off the rank will be to get this vice off here, set this up, and machine a 10 millimeter slot in here for this drive dog to sit in that way. Alrighty, listen to the radio again. That's why you were listening to some music. It fits perfectly. Beautiful. Okay, so that's about it now. We'll get it out of there and we'll fit it all up in the lathe and see how we go. Spinning something up between centers. At this point in the video, I'd like to thank my patrons for the continued support. It's greatly appreciated. If you'd like to become a patron, there's a link down in the description. You can sign up down there and toss me a couple of dollars every month. If you don't want to become a patron, there's always buy me a coffee. And there's a QR code on the screen there. You can scan that. Or there's always that thanks button down there. Alrighty, so while you guys were looking, I fitted all this back up and uh, machined up a little uh, a bar to put in that hole you saw me drilling the side so that I can hold it while I tighten the nut up over in the back of the spindle. I'll also be able to use that in my uh, collet chuck when I'm trying to thread if you've watched me trying to thread with it in the past. So anyway, I also, while you were looking, faced the ends of this bit of, uh, this bit of mystery metal, a bit of scrap binium off and uh, put some sanders in it. I have cocked up here slightly. I'm, I'm going to have to remachine this and bring it back in a bit, maybe 10 millimeters or so it is it's sticking out way too far and I did have to cut a little bit off the end of this. Anyway, let's go, let's uh, let's run a cart pass up here and see how it goes. Well judging by that, either this bar has got <laughs> different thicknesses or I need to adjust this tail stock some more. Set a little measure there. Twenty-five point zero one, twenty-five point three two. So it's, there's a point three difference already between there and there. So looks like it needs adjusting a tad. Bring you back in a minute. I think it's about as close as I want to get to that thing flying around there. First time around anyway. I don't know what it's going to clear. Anyway, let's have a look. See how do we go? I did machine that a little bit here, and I was only out point oh five over about that much. So. 25.02, 25.06. So over that distance, four one hundredths of a millimetre is not too bad. I could probably adjust it out if I really want to stuff around with it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little build. Uh, I'm not going to stuff around doing all that, fixing this up while you guys watch. I'll do that. I've got no immediate use for this anyway. So that's a job for another time. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this and uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you next week when i'm going to have a, a major update or a major upgrade to the milling machine bye bye